Hello, this is your evil twin welcoming you to the final part of Let's Play Time Shift. In the past few chapters we've been stealing a zeppelin and stealing fuel for the zeppelin. At the end we launched a drop jet to uh, land in Alpha District and take the fight to Crone himself. Optimizing reflexes for tactical advantage. To every member, Who is crashing these things? Uprising, this is Commander Cook. Huh. Cook's taken over the public announcement system. Downfall of Crone Magistrate is at hand. The tide has turned, but we must have your help. We need every available man to join in this fight. The men from Delta Battalion and all other prisoners of war have been saved. I can't our family members are safe. The scheduled execution of unregistered citizens has been stopped. Now, huh? Back in the uh, first chapters of the game, we saw lots of examples of uh, police brutality, the uh, Crohn's forces against the occupants. And uh, now we see the flip side. It is concealed within a huge sentinel, and Crone himself is using this massive machine to retreat, but he must pass through Alpha District. If, if we can bring down this mechanical beast, the Magistrate and Crone himself will be brought down forever. We're not talking so much anymore. What's wrong? Crone's death would be the end of this war. Freedom for each and every one of us. To ensure this dream becomes a reality, we must have it. Nice reversal of what we saw back in the first level. Please, join me back. Crone's still in the district, but he's moving fast. And if we're going to stop that Sentinel, you've got to get to higher ground. Yeah, I really like this final chapter. So, yeah. Reversal of the first chapter. This time it's Crone's forces that are losing the fight. The uh, occupants brutalizing them and capturing them. Family members are safe. The scheduled execution of unregistered citizens has been stopped. The yeah, it's a nice idea, and uh, everything has been brought full circle. No artillery, no air reinforcements. But thanks to uh, all the stuff we've done over the course of the game, uh, we've turned the tables. Occupant personnel have infiltrated the Magistrate Central Intelligence Network, and we now know the location of Crone's command center. See it is concealed someone in the radar. Huge sentinel, and Crone himself is using this massive machine Suspect to retreat, is armed. but he must pass through. Now, if, if we can bring down this mechanical beast, the, the Magistrate and the Crone himself will be brought down, down. forever. Fire in the hole! Oh, oh. Death. Dispatch Crone's death would be the end of this war. Freedom for oh, each no. and every one of us. But to ensure this dream becomes a reality, we must have to All units Please. respond. Join us. Seal them off! I read you! These Crone police are actually using some quite high-end weapons, the stuff to every you normally see on the military the Crone guards. Uprising. This is Commander Cook. Try to gain some what are you doing hiding behind there, you chicken? Downfall. Time has turned, but we must have your help. We need every available man to continue this fight. Well, I say chicken. Delta Battalion. Be honest, hiding is probably a pretty sensible course of action. 
and up against a one-man army with time counts. Scheduled counts. execution of unregistered citizens has been stopped. The magistrate's munitions plant has been decimated. Crone's men have no artillery, and no air goodness. reinforcements, and their remaining weapon supplies are inadequate. <laughs> ah! You know what? I really don't mind. No artillery. I no died and I uh, forgot to save. But that doesn't matter, inadequate. because it means I get to do this all over again. Check in. Occupant personnel have infiltrated the magistrate central intelligence network, and we now know the location of Crone's command center. <laughs> we now know the location of Crone's command center. <laughs> This massive machine to retreat, but he must pass through Alpha District. If, if we can bring down this mechanical beast, the Magistrate and Crone himself will be brought down forever. Grenade! Oh no! Oh! Dispatch, need backup. Crone's death would be the end of this war. Freedom for each and every one of us, but to ensure this dream becomes a reality, we must have your help. On the ground! Please, join us. Freeze! To every member or supporter of the occupant uprising, this is Commander Cook. I'm stuck. I'm okay. The I'm free. The downfall of Crone Magistrate <laughs> is at hand. Hands up! It burns. Time has turned, but we must have your revenge. Every available man to join in this fight. The men from Delta Battalion and all other prisoners of war have been saved. Oh, that was the last ordinary enemy in the game. Execution of unregistered citizens has been stopped. Hmm. How are we gonna take on Chrome Sentinel? Oh dear, that looks scary. Uh oh! Deal with Crane Sentinel. That destroyed one of its plasma turrets. This can be pretty challenging. I remember the very first time I played, I got killed by that artillery a bunch of times. Stay on the move! Go, go, go! To the mysterious ally of the occupant uprising. While I do not know who you are, Doctor, I 
know what you are. But it is of minor importance now. Your last breath will be taken within this reality. My reality. You haven't stopped anything. Huh. Big words from a little man. The artillery blasted this area open. Now the sentinel's still not down, but uh, it's three top mounted plasma cannons being taken out. So that means it's far less of a danger to the occupants. And uh, now they can all gang up on it. Here it comes. And it's using its mega lightning death ray cannon. If you're not quick enough, it will destroy you. But everyone knows, when you're dealing with a giant enemy crab, you attack its weak point for massive damage. We are a go. I say again, we are a go. If Crone attempts to make a jump, eliminate him.
Paradox Image. Initiating jump sequence. And there you go! That is the ending to Time Shift. Turns out that the player character was actually some kind of agent who had been given the go-ahead to assassinate Crone if he uh, if he tried to jump through time. Yeah, originally we weren't able to prevent him from jumping, but we then pursued him, and we uh, took down his entire government and uh, helped uh, an uprising topple him. And uh, then we finally got to him, we just shot him in the head, execution style. You know, many people familiar with time travel stories would expect that our objective was to put right what Crone changed and, you know, undo everything that Crone did. But uh, that has never been our objective. You know, it's been clear that all the time that uh, this was an alternate reality. That uh, you know the original reality, the original version of history, did still exist, and this was a, another universe that was created by Crow and altering history. So um, yeah, there was no way to rectify that and undo what Crow did. But what we could do was stop Crow's dictatorship, you know, stop uh, the people of this world from being oppressed. You see there's a little message in the credits there in green that says hello. As the credits continue you see these little messages pop up now and then. So uh, yeah, hopefully the uh, occupant uprising led by Cook will uh, now be able to form some kind of democratic government. And uh, yeah, there's still lots of uh, advanced technology lying around from Crohn's regime, so uh, it would be kind of interesting to see how that world you know, turned out in uh, future decades. After killing Crone, we took the origin drive from his alpha suit, you know, his original time suit, uh, installed it on our own suit and jumped back to our present, you know, our own reality. And uh, when we got there, we arrived just in time to stop the bomb and uh, save our lady friend, Dr. Marissa Foster, as uh, well as our colleague, uh, Dr. Nathan Tucker. So, uh, didn't show him at the end. And, uh, yeah, just as we were about to uh, take off our mask and uh, give, uh, give Dr. Foster a smooch, I guess, uh, Sam reported paradox imminent and made us jump away to who knows where or who knows when. Now, that has uh, confused some people. Um, you know, the question is, what is the paradox? Some people have thought that uh, since you were about to take your mask off, perhaps it was revealing your identity that was the paradox. Like there was some bizarre twist that the player was actually Dr. Marissa Foster. Um, that would be bizarre given that your body shape in the suit clearly looks male. And during the, op during the intro sequence, I think you can actually hear yourself shout, you know, everyone get out. And uh, there were flashbacks to romantic scenes between us and Dr. Marissa Foster, so it would be a bit bizarre if you were sleeping with yourself. So I don't know how anyone could possibly think that was the explanation, but nonetheless, some people have suggested it. Now, I think the, uh, the explanation there is the fact that um, we are tampering with our own past. Remember that at the beginning, we could actually see Dr. Foster getting blown up by the bomb on a, on a security camera. And we have just stopped the bomb, so we've already just caused a change. And if we were to hang around, um, you know, our past self might, uh, might see us. And uh, yeah, the fact that the bomb has been stopped, and the fact that, you know, the your past self sees another person there in a time suit, uh, it might uh, delay yourself from going back in time. You might not decide to go back uh, at all, um, you know, if that bomb wasn't about to detonate. So, um, yeah, things are, you know, things might be changing there. It might be the case that your past self no longer has to jump back in time to stop Crone. Whatever, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's complicated. 
<laughs> but yes, you're, you're interfering with your own past there. Uh, you can actually be seen by your own past self. And uh, before that causes irrevocable damage to the space time continuum, Sam jumps you away. So, um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder where you end up. I suppose if they had actually done a uh, sequel to Time Shift, we would have found out. But uh, I don't think there's likely to be any sequel to Time Shift. Uh, the game didn't sell particularly well, and it has been a very long time since it came out. But, um, I like to think that uh, the player ends up jumping throughout time, in the past, in the present, in the future. Um, whenever whenever there's a time traveller messing about with history, so uh, you become a sort of time cop nomad fighting fighting bad guys in the past, present and future. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. And each time hoping your next leap will be the leap home. Now, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this Let's Play. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed making it. Um, I would love to show you some of the multiplayer, but unfortunately the uh, multiplayer for the PC version of the game no longer works. The GameSpy servers have been shut down. So, uh, you can still play it over LAN. And you can also... Um, there are various tricks you can do to play LAN over the internet, but good luck finding a bunch of people to play the game with. You might still be able to play multiplayer on consoles, you know, on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Um, I checked like a year back and there were actually a few people still play it online, but not many people, so I wouldn't go out and buy this game for the multiplayer. But um, the single player is pretty satisfying. I had a lot of fun with it. Do also check out my Let's Play of Inversion, the next game that Sabre made. Um, it's uh, surprisingly good fun. Again, another game that didn't get good reviews, but uh, I, uh, I enjoyed. So do check out my Let's Play of Inversion if you haven't already. Acquiring new time jump coordinates. Uh, if you do stick around for just a few more moments to the end of the credits, I'll give you a little preview of another Let's Play that I'll be doing. I uh, thought that I would continue the uh, time travel theme. And there are actually two time travel games that I am planning on doing. And uh, in a moment I'll give you a glimpse.
thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time in my let's play of Darkest of Days.